You might recall a while ago, um, I touched on the uh, the depth lock on this Hornady uh, slipping. You know, oil working its way back, uh, causing issues. Uh, I thought I had that all sorted out. <laughs> oh, cleaned it all up. Uh, yeah. Um, you can see I've changed the orientation on this. Because coming in from the side, you know, when it sat like this, I found that I often didn't hit, you know, the full trim. Uh, get in a hurry or the arm get tired and not fully um, trimming. Sometimes they'd be five thousandths longer <laughs> than I thought they were. Uh, not good. Um, so... I reoriented this, um, you know, see Fortune Cookie have his setup like this. And, yeah, you've got your weight behind you. You know when it bottoms out, you know, it's a whole lot easier to tell. Now, this <laughs> messed me up uh, because, well, these two surfaces... Are just ground surfaces uh, so you know eventually you're gonna get a um, little friction there um, it's not like a bearing that you know which would be pretty cool uh, but you know you got the the speed of the drill you got a little more weight a little more friction building up and next thing I knew um, I was trimming 5,000 shorter than I thought. Uh, it just happened to notice. I think there's more grass coming off these than they should. Checked it. 5,000 shorter. And I'm already trimming them short uh, for my swage bullets. So I can you know, see them a little deeper. Just because of the length. So, you know, around you know, 1.74. So I was around 1.735. Which isn't optimal. Um, I've run into a lot of once fired brass that is 1.35, but that's not what I'm trying to duplicate. <laughs> um, I just annealed these, trimming them down. Um, I'm starting all, you know, good bet I'm going to hit 1.740 with them. Uh, later, I might bump them out to 1.745. Uh, 1.750, I think, is just a little bit much to get them right with my bullet. Uh, it works, but I can't see them back very much. Can't play with it very much. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And like I said, <laughs> suddenly I'm, you know, I'm really shorter than I want to be. So, what I did... And seems to be working now. Is I took it all apart. Uh, I brick cleaned um, these pieces. The uh, the O ring, the shaft, um, the you know the, the the threads. Cleaned it all up good. Put it together. Got my link set. Um, took a couple pair of channel locks. And just you know, held the front one, turned this back one until it snugged right up, and I haven't had any problems since. Um, so, you know, that, that o ring <laughs> is supposed to keep them from rotating, but if there's not enough, you know, friction against the threads, they'll, they'll rotate in unison, the whole, you know, as a unit, and, pff, you know, that's what happens. So, um, yeah, doing that, I was able to get it much tighter than with my bare hands, which I had tried, cleaned everything up. I tightened it up as much as I possibly could with my hands. And, you know, I was able to turn it, you know, grip here, turn it without excessive amounts of force. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, give her a little bit with this. Not a huge amount, just enough to snug it up. 
and it takes a fair amount of force to get that to rotate. Um, I have to try now versus, eh, you know, uh, so yeah, always something, right? But I figured, you know, maybe it helps someone, uh, <laughs> just, like I said, it's always something. All right, well, I'll leave you with that. I uh, hope it helps someone. Have a good one. God bless. See ya.